In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add bullet points in Webflow. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is you need to go onto Webflow and select the site you want to work on. Click on Open Designer, just like this. Now, I'm going to teach you a very simple way that you can use the bullet points here. What you have to do is go to the left side and go to Add Elements. And we have a few different ways we can actually do this. So the one that you're going to be wanting to use most likely is the list here. So you can go ahead and click on this and you can drag it somewhere to your site. Let's say we want to put it on here. Now you can see that you're going to have some list settings. You've got ordered, which means you can do one, two, three in order. Or unordered is just going to be the bullet points here like that. You can just put no bullets or bullets. Now if you go over here into the settings, you can actually change the style so you can add them squares or yeah you can add them to this you can have hollow squares you can have abc uh, you can have like this so these are a few different like style options that you can have for the bullet points here so what you can do is you can go in and you can change the colors and all of that of them quite easily and what we can do is we can inside of these little list items if you want to for example go ahead and add some text you would go up here go to the text so let's say you want to add a heading drag it in there and that's going to put a heading next to it so you could put hello like that and that's going to be a bullet point next to the text you can obviously resize the text here just to make it line up a little bit better with the bullet points here and uh, I'm not sure if you can increase the size of the bullet point looks like you can't so I think in terms of stylizing them, you're going to have to use some custom code to actually stylize the bullet points, which is uh, slightly annoying. But uh, that's how you basically go ahead and use them. The second way you can do it is you can install a custom font, such as this this one here. This is called Font Awesome, and this allows us to use fonts, um, which we can use as bullet points. So let's say I wanted to use this dragon as a bullet point uh, you could pick just a normal one if you wanted to a normal bullet point let's say we want to use this dragon I could go ahead and I would instead of using the bullet points here I would just put it straight in front of the text I'd paste it in I'd go ahead and select it like this and I go ahead and select it on the font so I'd pick the correct font um, this one here and then we can obviously use the dragon as the bullet point so that's another way you can do it and if you want to see a bit more of an in-depth video about how to do that I have a video on the channel about it but if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one